Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Hope we are all well. Today we're going to review this beautiful uh, dress watch from Seiko's Presage range. This model is called Presage Cocktail Time and the reference number is SSA407J. Now before we start with the review, if you like this channel and like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell so I can keep making these videos for you and keep you posted with my future content as well. Now guys, on most occasions when we are looking to, at buying a new watch for ourselves or to gift it to someone else, the first thing that attracts us uh, towards a particular timepiece is the way it looks. Obviously then we consider the price and the practicality of the watch along with making sure that it's going to fulfill its purpose, um, which is not always just to tell the time, but uh, to also look good on your wrist as well. This watch I have here with me today from Seiko will most likely help you in fulfilling those purposes that I just mentioned earlier. This is a beautiful dress watch, uh, which is very well made and presented. It absolutely speaks quality, at least for the price that you're expected to pay for it, which is 750 Australian dollars retail. And that's before any possible discounts that you should be able to get on this watch. Now, without further ado, let's have a closer look at this beautiful timepiece from Seiko. So you have this beautiful uh, multi-tone brown dial with dagger style stainless steel markers and open heart at the front of the watch. You get hard lex, um, glass at the front and not sapphire crystal. Now, I personally uh, would have preferred sapphire crystal on this watch, but Seiko has decided to go with hard lex, uh, in this instance. You do get an open case back on this watch where you can see the caliber 4R38 automatic movement at work. Now this uh, watch is expected to operate at plus 45 to minus 35 seconds per day as far as the accuracy is concerned and at 21,600 beats per hour. The power reserve on this watch is uh, 41 hours which is um, manageable. Now the watch can be manually uh, wound as well um, so you can wind the watch um, at its original position so that when the crown is in its original position all you need to do is to rotate the crown in a clockwise uh, position and you'll be able to wind the watch now as there's no date function on this watch uh, to change the time all you need to do is or to set the time all you need to do is pull the crown um, out to its first position and that's where you'll be able to set um, or change the time as you can see I've just done that and the seconds hand has uh, stopped moving which is an indication that the uh, the, the watch is in a uh, in, in the time uh, changing or setting mode right now so when you when, once you're done with changing the time all you need to do is push the crown back into its original position and the watch will start operating again now the case uh, size on this watch is 40.5 uh, millimeters and the case thickness is 11.8 uh, millimeters with the lug to lug distance of 47 and a half millimeters. Now the lug width on this watch is 20 millimeters. Um, I wanted to make a mention of that uh, just in case if you decide to change uh, this strap for something different, a 20 millimeter strap uh, should uh, fit nicely on this watch. Now the water resistance on this watch is uh, 50 meters so this watch is suitable uh, for swimming. Uh, even though it is I would still like to keep that to a minimal um, not to water damage uh, the watch as this is not really designed uh, for um, long period to spend long period of time in, in, in water. Now, personally, I haven't been a big fan when it comes to the quality of uh, the leather straps on most Seiko entry-level watches, uh, but they seem to have done a decent job uh, with this one. You get this uh, beautiful brown calfskin leather strap with um, this three-fold uh, clasp with push buttons to release the clasp. 
it's very well made it's um it's a beautiful looking um strap and, and it's it's absolutely fits nicely with the uh with the brown dial on this watch as well um, now i'll put this uh watch on my seven inch uh wrist to show you how it looks uh on my wrist here you go guys this is a beautiful beautiful dress watch um i absolutely like love it and for the price that you pay for it, I think um, it's an absolute keeper. So if you are in the market uh, for, a, for a good looking dress watch uh, and don't want to pay too much uh, for it, absolutely uh, consider Seiko's Presage range. They have some beautiful uh, watches uh, to offer in this collection. And this is just um, one example of that. Here you go, let's go have a final closer look at this beautiful watch. Alright guys, so this concludes um, our review of this uh, Seiko Presage. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys with my next video. Until then, uh, look after yourself and stay safe. Thank you.